Hi there, it's Bjorn here from Speckle and welcome to our tutorial series Rhino and Grasshopper to eTabs using the power of Speckle. I've broken down the content into five videos. In this first video, we'll be going looking at a basic introduction and an overview of what our end goal looks like. And then we'll also be looking at the setup items, so the things that you need in order to follow along. In our second video, we'll be looking at our first connection, so sending 3D objects and their properties from Rhino into Speckle and receiving those in eTabs. Here, and that's what I want to highlight in this video, we have quite a few limitations with regards to what we can define and assign. So our structural cross-sections and materials, and those are the things that are really important to us from a structural engineering point of view, which is why I then introduced Grasshopper. With Grasshopper, we have a lot more flexibility and we can define a near complete analytical model sent from Grasshopper and received in eTabs. To give you an idea of what that looks like, we have an analytical model defined in Grasshopper. We then send that analytical model to our Speckle project. Once within our Speckle project, we can slice our model, take off measurements, view changes from one version to the next, as well as collaborating and communicating with colleagues. We can then also receive that model, which we'd send from Grasshopper. We can receive that in eTabs, and we have not just our geometry, but also the properties associated with it. But before we can start sending and receiving data, we need to go through the setup. So there are three things that we need. We need our Speckle account. We want to set up a project and we want to get our connectors installed on our machine. So first things first with the Speckle account, quite simply, if I go onto the speckle.systems website, in the top right, we have the option to register. So when clicking on that, you can either log in or register for an account. I already have an account, so I'm going to flick across to my Speckle dashboard. And this is what you'll have once you register for your account. We get now to the second thing, and that's creating a project. So in the top right, we can click on New Project. And we have the pop-up for project name, description, and access permissions. So I'm going to give this the name Tutorial Rhino and Grass Up at eTabs. And then clicking on Create, we already have our project. So if I navigate into our project, we see space for models. And I want to define that now already. You really have carte blanche in how you sort your information. We like to think of it as a Git style approach. So we previously had branches and versions. And the same thing here, we can have models and submodels. I'm going to create this where I have a model for each software. And within that software, I'll have a testing submodel as well as an analytical model. So the testing will just be, like the name suggests, for testing certain features, and then the analytical will be for really version tracking. So in the top right, if I click on new model, I can define these models. So there we have it. We have our three models for the three different softwares, and we have the submodels of test and analytical for each one. So there we have our Speckle account set up, and we have our project already defined. The last thing that we need is to download our connectors. That again is quite simple. If we go back to our speckle.systems website, you'll see either in the top right or Near the middle, we have the download option. So if I click on that, we can then download Manager for Speckle, either in Windows or Mac, depending on which operating system you have. I already have that installed. And this is what Manager looks like. So under the Connectors tab, we have a lot of options for the connectors that we want. In our example, we just need eTabs, Grasshopper, and Rhino. So if I install those,
With those now installed, we have everything that we need. So jumping back to our original list, we've gone through Speckle accounts, we've created an account, we've created our project within the app, and we've installed our connectors. That's it for this video. In the second video, we'll be looking at our first connection. So sending information from Rhino into Speckle and receiving that in eTabs. I'll see you there.